Let's go and see Rain Hold and find out what the next plan of action is. I don't actually think there's a next plan of action. I think he's just going to say, oh yes, you've done everything for us. Now go and do the rest of your, your missions to, to, to get to the end of the game. That's what I think he's going to say. We'll see, we'll see. Stop my brother. Those misguided albs didn't make it to Marakor. You stopped them? Excellent news. It's fortunate we can rely on you in matters like these. Or, to put it another way, I'm very glad you are on our side. Okay, so that's everything for now. We need to go and see the albs. Elex Purity. Urkrom. I think this might be the guy I was looking for previously, but I couldn't find him in the stronghold. Oh, because he stood there. You will never bring that woman near me again. You've made that abundantly clear, yes. Your robots gave us a really warm welcome at the end of the road to Caracas, by the way. Thanks for that. Yes, I admit I acted rashly. However... I get it. Nasty can make anyone's blood boil. Even an Alexander. Perhaps we had best not speak of it again. What's going on? Any news about the Sky Ants troop movements? We recently had word that a large formation of their troops is approaching. I wouldn't be surprised if they've already taken up positions in front of the depot. Launch an attack soon. We must prepare for the onslaught. Okay, then. You should negotiate with them. I have tried. The principal leading them clearly indicated that he will only accept unconditional surrender. He wants our elix. Needless to say, that is not an acceptable option for anyone here. Then we shall give him unconditional slaughter. Hmm. Open combat in the depot will cost countless civilian lives. And plus Dex is here. It can't be helped. We will not surrender the depot without a fight. I could try and stop them outside the depot. That would help us a great deal, even if you could only reduce their numbers. It was a mistake sending your guards outside. As I patrol Ignadon, I shall reflect on the lessons presented by recent events. Hmm. A fickle man is never as effective or as admired as a stalwart soldier in single-minded pursuit of a goal. Okay, I get it. We will take up positions here and wait for the attackers. We must prepare for battle. You just, you just, you just sit there and do nothing, mate. I'll do everything. Me and Falk will do everything ourselves. So be it. I'd have forgotten about it again. I should try right. my mind. Here we go. Thing John Cena from me. the top ropes. It's John. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> it broke me fucking legs. <laughs> Taste my thunder. Execution. That was remarkable. Yes, your 
soul is mine. Motherfucker. Why do I miss every attack? I wish you didn't have to loot the bodies to get the mana. I wish you just got it every time something died around you. I think that would be a much better system. Shit. The fucking massive group of them there. Wait, let me get loads of mana. These guys are gonna get electrocuted. Oh, they're all coming in. Right, here we go. Fuck these guys. Where are they? Watch this. Thunder! That's it, we're, we're out. Hey, that did, that did massive damage to everyone. He's got no stamina, how's he hitting us? That's fucking teamwork. Help entering open confrontation like that. We don't have much time. There we go. Pretty much full mana back. Nice. Skyans outside the depot have been driven back. Really? But that... Well... You have accomplished what I could not. Well, it's hard to accomplish something when you stood here like a bell end. An impressive demonstration you know I mean? of your effectiveness. I do what needs to be done. Truly, you have lost none of the greatness that once made you so renowned. Good work, Jax. The Albs are in your debt. May you Remember be that. As effective as you were today. Remember that. We meet again. Right. As I patrol so, on, I shall reflect on the lessons presented by recent Reinhold. Events. We've already spoken of Reinhold. Did we, did we not say everything to him? Maybe we have to do the other mission. Okay, we'll have a quick word with this guy. Oh, that's right, because we we had to speak to Ercom as well. The most serious threats posed by the hacked machines and the misguided albs have been dealt with. Good work, Jax. But let us remember that mankind is still in peril. I haven't forgotten that. I trusted that was the case. May the creator show. That's May the it. Creator have mercy okay, on we've got all. one more quest left. Sorry, two. So we can speak to Crony. 
to reunite the people. They are sending one of their principals who wants to meet me in command. But we'll do this. We'll go and speak to Cro Right, I don't know if this is, this is the main quest or if we have to do them all to progress it, but... Is Crony staying here? Really? Oh good, Crony stays here, happy days. I'll have a word with her. Training of Commander Core Mental Stability. Let's get a summary. I've taken care of the riots going on in the lands of the free people. That'll help out the sixth power. A principal called Teak wants me to visit him in the Patara form. Okay, so we're doing this now. Be careful. It could be an audience with a Skyan superior or just a cheap attempt to trap me. I still don't know. It's about time we took Dawkins out. The sooner the better. Tell me right away if you track him down. Last but not least, we need to get Kas We know this. Come on then. This is the only thing we've got to do. Get to this new former. We've never been there. What's the best way? It's probably just west of this settlement. It's, it's a long trek though. We're actually headed towards the orange. It makes you wonder how many people once lived here. Come on then, we're out on a magical mystery tour of the snow area. Yeah, baby. Yeah, we stick to this road, we'll probably get across. Now what is the road? Oh, this is the road here. See it. I can see the light. Oh, do you see that? <laughs> it went dark and I got light again. Oh, that's right. It did it in Elex One as well. As soon as you went over over lava, it, it got dark. Weird. We are in there like swimwear. Come on, Falk. We got this. This is a dangerous area. Ah, we're so hard. It's not dangerous anymore. I'd be surprised if we could even die. Let's avoid these guys if we can. I know what we last time we tried to do this at ended in tragedy, but we'll try it again.
good things aren't following us, I don't think. I think one is. Excellent, right. Oh, fucking big guys. Two of them. This big guy should go down easy. You're attacking the wrong fucking thing, mate. Got him. I've just realised you can do that. You can do like a, a Dark Souls 1 lag stab. You can just run around the back of them and then initiate it. That's what we're doing, baby. Where are we going this way? These guys are pathetically weak. Oh shit. Let me help you. Can I fucking get him? Well this is good. I'm just trying to get my mana back. There's no doubt the thing we have to go and speak to is going to fight us, I guarantee it. Hopefully it's a boss, I would like this to be a boss. Do you know what else I missed from the first game? Is in each converter in the first game, there was always like a, a locked room in, in good looting it. There's... there's there's not that many pieces of blue. Oh, I can't be bothered to go in there. Right, let's, let's go down this way. Watch out. Ain't nobody got time for that.
I imagine he he is definitely going to be in this room. I don't know if he's going to be hostile or not. I don't really want to get it while we're having the com. Oh, it's not attacking us. This is the Patara former command cell. Now, where's Principal Tayak? Look at the state of this guy. Another miss will come men who will tower above all others, and yet be equal to them. Huh. So you must be Principal Tayak. Didn't know Skyans could speak our language. What has long rested in darkness has returned to the light of the world. Yes, we speak your language. And yes, they call me Tayak now. A designation of my identity, one that has not completely shed its roots. Hmm. What makes you think you have the right to destroy our planet? It is as much our planet as it is yours, and we will improve it. I doubt that. But why Magalon? Couldn't you have found another world? Unless you are aware of an alternative habitat, that is not a viable proposal. This guy is pretty concise. He doesn't really speak much. Why invade now? Why not before? We had not completed our primary research. We would have been unprepared. I think you are still unprepared. I will crush you. Who are you? Where the hell are you from? The ground beneath you tells our story. But there are few who can remember it now. You were waiting for me. I called, and you came. Why now? Why haven't you tried to negotiate with humans before? Your attempts to infiltrate Cassandra were impressive. You are worthy of our attention. You're not giving me straight answers. Just a load of bullshit. You hear the words. But your mind is too limited to discern the truth behind them. Why did you call me? What do you want from me? You are the second humanoid anomaly. If anyone could understand, it would be you. What the fuck? You could ask a thousand more questions, and I could answer them all. And yet your mind would not apprehend this knowledge without the one answer to every question. And what's that? Who we are, where we come from, where we are going, and how much time we have left is all at the will of the singularity. It is the source. It is our god. It is the elix. And it will be the end of us all. More damn riddles. How am I supposed to understand anything if everything you say just raises more questions? Your thoughts are tied in knots. When really, it's all so simple. Let me explain it to you from the very beginning. First, there was desire, a shared obsession, for eternal life. We were not the only ones with such a desire. There was another, a scientist and inventor, making his name at what was then called the Infinite Skies Corporation. You're talking about Dawkins. It was he who invented the formula for immortality. He who discovered the Singularity. 
A celestial body with the necessary laboratory conditions, many light years away. And so the inventor sent a delegation of scientists there, so that they could make his elixir of life a reality. And they succeeded. The first elix was created, but the inventor was still here on Nagalon. If he was to remain alive for the many decades of research ahead, he would need the first derivative of the elix brought to him. Look where we're and going. So the comet became the emissary of this miracle, delivering both the elix and the cataclysm that would reduce the planet to ashes. The rest of Magellan's story you wrote yourself. I think we're going to that locked door we saw ages ago or when we won Crony's Quest. I thought it must have been something like that. Callayam wasn't the only spacecraft sent to save mankind from the comet. There was a second one, carrying a group of scientists. And its name was Cassandra. That's who you are, isn't it? You're the scientist Dawkins sent in search of eternal life. When I first heard what you called yourselves, it sounded like sky ants. But you're not insects. You're not even beings from another planet. You're scientists. And you risked everything, heading into the sky in search of the very essence of life. Everything that's happened to our world over the last two centuries. It's because of you. You developed Elix and brought it here. My name was once Taylor. But many years of metamorphosis and cellular renewal Turn me into something else. Turn us all into something unique. We became the Skyans. I am Teyak now, the guardian of Betara, one of those who will improve Megalon. Well, I don't think you will, because I'm going to assassinate each and every one of you. All what you do improving, killing everything and everyone and building your own world? We've got another word for that. Genocide. Those who are worthy will be transformed. All others are expendable. What was it like being shot into the sky like that? We are immortal. We can do things the rest of humanity can't even dream are possible but it has come at a high cost after centuries near the singularity developing the elix we began to change but we came to an even more devastating realization the singularity was moving slowly at first then faster and faster even the most hardened skeptics could no longer deny what we had started to suspect. You see, the Elix was not just made near the Singularity. Many of the components were actually taken from it. Does that mean...? Yes. The Elix is part of the Singularity. And it... It wants it back. Thing. It's on its way here? You stole part of its essence and now it's coming to take it back. To reunite with the Elix. Is that what you're saying? Your mind is beginning to see now. To understand. Why the hell are you telling me this? What do you want? You are the second humanoid anomaly. You are a DNA replicant of Dr. Adam Charles Dawkins, or Deus, as he is known among Skyans. You have a direct connection to him. Of all living humans, you must know where he is. As it happens, I have no idea where Dawkins is now. But... Why is he so important to you? 
Those of us who left in the Cassandra Space Shuttle risked our lives and had to live in open space for decades. Dawkins only had one job. He was to prepare this planet for our return with the first derivative of the Elix we sent him. But when we finally received word from him and returned, well, so much has gone wrong with this planet in our absence. So you want to make Dawkins pay for not preparing the planet for you. But that's not the whole story, is it? You don't understand why I still resist your infection, do you? Cassandra's computer told me. My superhuman willpower is a mystery, and you're starting to realize I could be dangerous to you. How am I doing so far? You see much. So you want to drag me off to your labs and tie me to one of your dissection tables? Of course. And since I'm Dawkins' DNA replicant, you think I must have the same abilities he does. So take me apart, and you learn all about him, too. Since you seem to understand everything so clearly, there's no need to prolong things. If you can't help us find him, this conversation is over. Dawkins won't be able to hide forever. Yeah, sure, whatever. Just one more thing. Enough questions. It is time to study your anomaly. Let's study. We have very little time before the singularity arrives. We must be prepared. That means expanding our knowledge of mutability. And your DNA could save us many years of research. Now, Make your way to one of our research cells. No chance. You cannot win the battle with the new Elix anyway. Sooner or later, you will become one of us. Then why are you so eager to take me apart? You don't know shit. Anyway, even if it does come to that, it'll be my decision, not yours. Enough! We need to finish this now! Over my dead body. Exactly. If that is how it must be. Right, come on then, bitch. Attack. I see. Guy's gonna get parry monster. Come on, baby. It's not even hard. Oh, this guy is getting destroyed. <laughs> Are you sure this is a good place for us to be? Get wrecked. Now here, let me just say something, right? So this guy just told us, oh yes, the Elex is part of a singularity, so we come to this planet because we stole the Elex from the singularity and the singularity wants it back. So they don't have an end game. They don't have an end goal. If the singularity is coming here, then they're going to die anyway. And that's what he said. He went, oh, we're all going to die anyway. So, so why would you want to prepare the planet for... I don't know. Why would you want to prepare the planet for you coming here so you can be immortal? Only to be proved not immortal because the singularity is going to fucking suck you all off. <laughs> it's going to suck you off. Uh, it, lads, the, the, the plan doesn't make any sense whatsoever. These guys are a bunch of morons. And I'm going to slaughter each and every one of them. Fuck them. And the way it is, I'm going to stick all this elex on a rocket and send it back. Save the planet. That fucking son of a bitch. Dawkins is the cause of everything that's happened to humanity. The world fell to his arrogance and greed. He wanted nothing more than to prolong his own miserable existence. Now, when the spirits he summoned are haunting him, it disappears. This has to stop. For good. My drone needs to find him. I must put an end to his plans. Alright, come on then. Drone? Where are we going? Traitor! I can't fast travel. Why?
What the fuck? For some reason I can't fast travel, I, I, don't, I don't know why. Gotta fucking run all the way back out here, I can't be arsed. Bro, I've got a better idea, watch this. I'm just saving and loading, right? See if I can fast travel. Maybe it like fixes something. Nope. Nope! Well, out of curiosity, what is down here? Oh, we've got a rare shield. Right, let's make our way back over here. Ain't nobody got time for this. Damn it. What's wrong with me? Oh, this is why. Not now. We're gonna pass out. That's why we couldn't fast travel. <laughs> he walks away as if nothing happened. My head. Something's happening to me. I think I'm starting to develop the ability to control it. Good. Control it, baby. One with the dark elix and its properties. Just as the sky ants feared. Dawkins. I will find you. And I will finish this. Come on, crony baby. Get it done. What about Dawkins? Can you locate him? Negative. Dawkins outside sensor range. Stay alert. It's about time we took Dawkins out. The sooner the better. Last but not least, we need to get Cassandra to open the gateway that's definitely going to be difficult. What? What the fuck? Uh, this is the only thing we can do? Uh, am I missing something here? What the fuck's going on? Maybe we have to rest. What the fuck? Hmm. I've seen this before. Commander, Dawkins detected near Deltara former. Damn it! We're too late. The Skyans already got him. I don't know what they've got planned for him in Deltara, but whatever it is, it won't be good for us. Immediate intervention recommended. Risk of compromise, 98.6%. Yeah, you're right. We gotta drag Dawkins out of there before the Sky Ants squeeze everything out of him. Acknowledged. Come on then, baby. Let's get him. Deltara. Hopefully he's not inside. Because I, I find these... I find these formers, like the insides of them, Pretty fucking boring. <laughs> if I'm honest, I'm not even gonna lie. This, uh, the, the the inside of these dungeons are crap. I hate the purple aesthetic. I, I don't I don't find it visually enjoyable. Oh, here's Dawkins. What the hell? 
Finally. I thought I'd never find you. Jax, you're here. You came to save my life? I wouldn't go that far. Actually, I still don't know what I'm going to do with you. Should I ram my gun down your throat now or after you explain things? <sighs> I see. I take it you've spoken to the Skyans. Did you really think you'd keep your story secret forever? No, but I hoped I'd get the chance to explain everything to you before the invaders. You had every opportunity, mate. You've had and plenty you of chances. The boat. If things hadn't turned out this way, you probably would have taken the secret to your grave. Maybe you're right, but perhaps we should get out of here before. You're not going anywhere. Not until you tell me everything you've done. To me, to humanity. Well, seems I don't have much choice. All right, let's talk about it if we must. Okay, what should we ask him? What about the DNA replication? Why did you share your genes with me? I've been trying to prepare the planet for the arrival of the Skyans for years. That's what the Albs and their directive were for. And for a while it was working. But once the Albs set up the first converter in the lands of the free people, the tide turned. The hybrid, that thing I was a part of once, sensed resistance among the Albs. There were a lot of skeptics and even saboteurs, especially among the technicians. The foundation of a hostile group, the Separatists, became inevitable. But there you were. A highly effective and confident commander. Even then, your willpower was a thing to behold. I replicated my own DNA with that of the Alb with the greatest mental strength I could find to protect myself and my legacy. It was a backup, if you will. Being in the hybrid capsule prevented me from doing anything as mundane as procreating. That explains your interest in my son. But you won't be going near him again. I'll make sure of that. After the replication, your willpower became even stronger. You were the only one who could resist being promoted to Alexander. Even implanting a control chip in your head had little effect. That's one reason I chose you to establish and lead the Sixth Power. If anyone can stop the Skyans, it's you. Well, it sounds to me that the only reason this guy wants to stop the Skyans is because they're coming for him. Simple as that. How did you manage to smuggle all the scientists? Yeah. When did you find out about the comet? Which is the singularity. When did you find out about the comet heading for Magalon? Was it before or after you started planning to live forever? The comet wasn't the beginning. I first sighted it five years before it crashed here. But even before that, years before, when I was still a young man, I observed a much more significant phenomenon in the sky. The singularity. All my research, all the observations, all the calculations, they all told me this was an incredible discovery. It was the answer to all the questions humanity had ever asked, and more, much more than that. But I didn't have the resources then to fathom its true nature. Then, years later, when the Infinite Skies Corporation was founded, I had my chance. Unlimited resources, everything I needed, and still, I couldn't really comprehend what I was seeing. It seemed to turn all the laws of physics, all the laws of nature, on their head. The results of my research and the lessons I learned from the Singularity's behavior brought me fame and the recognition of my colleagues. But even when many of them tried to denounce me, I continued my research, though I soon reached the limits of what I could learn. Yeah, how exactly did he make the Elex? That's what I'd like to know. How did you create Elix? I didn't. It was there all along, in the singularity itself. Elix is a part of it. Why is it blue? It just needed to be modified and adapted to humans. I was getting old then, increasingly aware of my mortality. I realized I would never reap the rewards of my work if I didn't... Find a way to live forever. Yes. Even there, the singularity helped me set the wheels in motion. But I couldn't do it down here on Magalon. I had to go up to the Singularity itself. It was the only place with the right conditions. But the journey would have taken far too long. I needed a faster way. A technology you've seen for yourself. It's been a feature of the skies for years, 
ever since the war against the Alps. You mean the strange ring the hybrid created? Correct. An artificial wormhole. So that's what it is in the from sky. This world to another. I sent a group of scientists through it. They came back more than 160 years later as highly developed immortal beings. Is that what the purple thing in the sky is? A wormhole? Why didn't you go yourself? Why leave it to others? Because of the comet. This rock, this tremendous destructive force on a collision course with our world. I was afraid if I went with them, we'd return to a planet reduced to rubble and dust. And that's exactly what happened. You didn't stop it. Whether you were here or on the other side of the galaxy. It wasn't a question of whether it would hit Magalon. The question was whether humanity would survive. You could have saved the planet. You could have changed the comet's course with your spacecraft. I tried. I was the one who started projects like Cassandra and Callahan. But when panic breaks out, well, few people are willing to pull together for a common cause. How did the first Elix get into the comet? My Cassandra scientists had to hurry once they reached the Singularity. They quickly had their first success. They sent Blue Elix back to us on a carrier rocket. But soon after launch, it became clear it would never reach Magellan. A fatal miscalculation they could do nothing to correct. But the rocket could reach the comet that was fast approaching the planet. So they steered it onto its path. Oh, and soon, shit. Elix was here, and my work could begin. That's how your it worked. Work to prolong your miserable life at the expense of millions of other lives. Yes. A tragedy, I admit. Fucking hell. So the comet didn't even have Elex on it? What would have happened is that comet would have hit Magellan and there would have been survivors and they would have rebuilt. But instead, because of this cunt, he sent the Elex on that comet to land here, spread it all around the world, and then have an imminent singularity come and destroy everything. What a mug this guy is. How did you manage to smuggle all those scientists aboard Cassandra without anyone realizing it? At first, nobody knew anything about the comet or any spacecraft. Of course, once things were in the open, I was forced to share my research with everyone. Research that might save a lot of lives, maybe all of them. But Cassandra was to be my project. I kept it secret to make sure it didn't suffer the same fate as Callahan. All people did was argue, blaming mistakes on each other. I couldn't allow that to happen with Cassandra. So... So you got rid of anyone who could have talked about it, right? It was a dark time. Not one I'm proud of. Your scientists, or whatever they are now, spoke of the Singularity as if it were a god. Isn't it? It contains secrets that no one, not even I, could ever discover. Not in a thousand lifetimes of research. It gives eternal life. It creates new life forms from nothing. It decides whether we all live or die. Principal Teak says it's moving towards us. It could hit us at any moment. And from what you're telling me, this is nothing like a simple comet. This will destroy us all. So what is it, if not pure divinity? Stop fucking with me! How do we stop it, genius? The Skyans have been set on their path from the very beginning. It's this plan that drives them. It's their reason for being. The reason anyone who gets in its way is destroyed. Oh yeah? So what is this plan? All in good time, Jax. We need to survive this war before we can move on to the next one. This guy's a fucking idiot. Just tell us, man. I'm asking you now. Listen, if you don't tell us, I'm going to cut your fucking head off. How's that? How's them apples? Where does this great willpower come from? What did you do to me that even the Sky Ants don't understand? The gifts to exercise great power over Elix are rooted in the configuration and harmonies of an individual's DNA. And willpower is one of these gifts. There are others, such as superhuman creativity or imagination or superhuman strategic and mathematical problem solving. You and I are not just the humanoid anomalies the Skyans would have us believe. 
We are Elix Elementals, my friend. Our gifts give us the power to shape both ourselves and the fate of the world. Why the sixth power? Why so much effort? Because the Skyans want to level the planet, and I no longer have the power to stop them. I'm not one of them anymore. I'm their enemy. Who can blame them for wanting you dead? All these elaborate schemes, all that effort, for such a long time. Well, that's the price of eternal life, and I'm paying it now. And so is everyone else, you bastard. You're nothing but a murderer. Maybe, but the Skyanids are far worse. Just think of the sheer scale of what they're doing. And what about what we did in those converters? <laughs> squeezing the Elix out of people. Because he just minimized what his, his responsibility want, in this. Justice? World peace? What's that compared to standing before God and being granted eternal life? You've done nothing but lie and manipulate me. Well, I'm done. The super soldier you bred to serve you quits right here and now. There's no need for us to be at odds, Jax. Of course there is. It's the only way I'll ever be free. Fine, if that's the way you want it. Just don't expect me to give up without a fight. Good, I want this guy dead. If I win, I promise to honor your legacy. Your work will not have been in vain. Enough talking. Let's end this now. As you wish. Decapitation! He sat down. That was a mistake. Bam! Get wrecked. Oh, I missed him. Dead. Get wrecked. Oh, he's not even dead. How about the fire? Where the fuck did I get a fireball from? Oh, is that my new power? Oh shit, shit. do I have the capability of fireballs now? Bro, you, you didn't ex put ourselves at serious risk by remaining here. Bro, he didn't even he didn't even escape. I killed him. Hands down, executed him right Damn there, swords lying there. That son of a bitch. It doesn't matter. I need to keep going. Otherwise there'll be nothing left to fight for. That is dog shit that. Lads, he got fucking destroyed. He, he didn't I hate it when games do that. Clearly murdered him. Dismembered his corpse. And then he just he just gets away. Okay, so what we do now? Adversary. We talk him back to this, are we? Do you know what else I'm disappointed about? I've I've got so many thoughts in my head right now. I want I need to get them out. So the first thought I had when I was having the conversation with the with Adam was, do you know? Oh, there's a sword here. I don't think this game's as good as Elex 1. I'll tell you why, right? In Elex 1, like, I, I get more enjoyment from games and RPGs where you're just dealing with men. You're just dealing with people, whether that be good people, bad people, sick in the head people. Like, I like to have an enemy that's just, just an horrible cunt. You know what I mean? That you can, like, you can get towards and like get some vengeance and revenge. I like that. And Elex One had a sense of that because you were betrayed by the Albs, and that was your vengeance mission. And then it turned into something else at the end of the game when you realised that like oh, that there's a bigger, bigger things in play. It's kind of like what happens with Mass Effect, and I think that's why I I enjoy Mass Effect One because it's all about what's happening with Saren, and then you learn of the alien invasion, the Reapers and stuff. When aliens and things not of this planet come into play, I lose fucking interest. Like, I just... I don't fucking care, man. Like, like... Because aliens are always one-dimensional. Oh, yes, we're here to take over your planet and, and kill everyone. That's a shit enemy, that. That's not... That's not an enemy that gives me any type of interest in a game. Because they're, they're so one-dimensional. Whereas 
why I like Elex 1 was because you had all of the different factions. And I like the start of this game when you're dealing with the different factions, but you know that they're not your enemy. You've already been taught Elex 2, you already know that your bigger enemy is the, the aliens because they're already here. Whereas I liked it in Elex 1 when you were like, oh, okay, these, these factions aren't black and white. Any of these could be my enemy. And you made your decisions cause, like due to that. Elex 2, I don't, I don't feel I've got any, like... I, I find it hard to care about anything because it's just, oh, yeah, band together because aliens are bad and will kill everyone, so you haven't really got a choice. That's, that's, that's shit, that. It's shit. That's why Mass Effect's shit. Mass Effect 1 was amazing. I loved it. Mass Effect 2 was, was, I enjoyed Mass Effect 2. And then Mass Effect 3 was just, oh, aliens. I don't care. I don't care. You, by, by Mass Effect 3, you knew the end game. You knew what the end game was, so anything else that you did, you knew was going to be meaningless. There's, there's no fucking point. Let's get a sum. We've cleared all the obstacles that have stopped us from marching into Marakor. Now the sixth power can do what it was meant to do. I'll go through the plan of attack in Marakor with Thialg. We'll free the territories from the invaders. But what then? We still haven't got a plan for how we're going to get the gateway open. Probability that Cassandra will cooperate, 0%. Yeah, I know, little guy. Her machines aren't taking any half measures. Nobody can match up to their willpower. Analyzing. Also, I still don't know how we're supposed to get in. Let's take care of the other things first. I'll figure out the rest as we go. Acknowledged. Well, you might as well follow me since Falx left. Follow me. Okay, but tell you what we'll do. We'll call an episode here. Oh, I was going to say something else as well. I forgot. Oh, yeah, that was another thing I was going to... like. So we, we fought Adam there, and then it was meant to happen. It would have been nice if that... If that wasn't wrote in the story and we had a choice, I had to spare him or kill him. I would have killed him anyway. But uh, I just think, yeah, I don't feel like I've got many choices in this. I don't think it makes a difference. I joined the clerics and it's made no difference, has it? Like, what, what, what have we really done for the clerics? Like, nothing. I don't know. I've got some mixed feelings. But anyways, we'll call an episode there and when we come back, it looks like this is going to be the end of the game. We're going to storm... Storm the gates. Mal what's it called? Malakor. Maracor. Maracor. We're going to storm the gates. And not only that, I'm, I, I hope we can just fast travel there and destroy everyone. <laughs> okay, lads. Hope you enjoyed the episode. See you in the next one.